Excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks anyway. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody very shortly. Well, would you mind if I sat there until he or she or it came? Well, they do seem to be pretty late. Never know who may be turning down. Sorry, nice try though. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sat here? Yes, I would. Oh. Excuse me, is this chair taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sat here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the book? I'd like to read in quiet if you wouldn't mind. No, sure thing. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place for reading. I like it. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Hemingway. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? Not actually. I have read about it. It's supposed to be really great. It is great. Yes, I've, I've heard it's great. Waiter? What's the book? The Sand and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I'm an Arsenal fan myself. What? What's the book? The Sand and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I read it in college. Where was college? I went to Oral Roberts University. What? <laughs> Where was college? I lied about going to college. I just like to party. Where was college? Harvard. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I actually just started. I got so excited after 10 pages that I went out and bought everything else he wrote. One of the greatest reading experiences of my life. All that psychological understanding, page after page of gorgeous prose, his profound grasp on the mystery of time and human existence, the smells of the earth. What do you think? I thought it was pretty boring. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Do you like Falconer? I love Falconer. He's incredible. I spent a whole winter reading him. I got so excited after reading 10 pages. I went on about everything else he wrote. All that psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And his profound grasp on the mystery of time. And human existence. I can't believe we waited this long to read about him. You never know. You may not have liked him before. True. You may not have been ready for him. You have to hit these things at the right time, or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Yes, I, I thought that reading Faulkner was a great experience. Mmm, yes. Sound in the fury. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, well, onwards and upwards. Waiter. You have to hit these things at the right moment, or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Do you come in here a lot? Actually, I'm in town for two days from Pakistan. Pakistan? Um. Do you come in here a lot? Every now and then. Do you? Not as much as I used to. Not as much as before my nervous breakdown. <laughs> Do you come in here a lot? Why are you asking me this? I'm interested. Are you really interested? Or do you just want to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether I come in here a lot? Just getting acquainted. Well, maybe you're only in it for the small talk. Long enough to take me back to your place to listen to some music, or some t music you've rented for your VCR, or some unknown terrific Django Reinhardt record, when all you want to do is make out, which you won't do very well. And then you'd go to the bathroom very loudly, go to the kitchen, get yourself a drink, not asking if I would like anything, and you'd proceed to confess you got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away in medical school in Belgium for a year, and that you've been in and out with her in what you call an intricate relationship, and that for seven years, none of which interests me, mister. Okay. Do you come in here a lot? Every other day, I think. I come in here quite a lot myself, and I don't remember seeing you. Well, we, we must be on different time schedules. Misconnections. Yes, in different time zones. You know, it's amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town not, and not even know it. I know. City life. It's, it's crazy. You know, we probably pass each other in the street every day, probably right out in front of here. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you know, the waiters here sure seem to be on a different time schedule. I can't locate one anywhere. Mm. Waiter! Waiter! So do you... Oh, oh pardon? I'm sorry. Never mind. You know, we must be on different time schedules then. Misconnections! Yes, different time zones. You know, it's amazing how you can live right next door to somebody in this town and not even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. Uh, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. Oh! Boyfriend? Sort of. What's the sort of boyfriend? My husband. Okay. <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Oh, um, actually I was. Oh! Boyfriend? Sort of. What's the sort of boyfriend? We were meeting here to break up. Okay. <laughs> you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, I was just reading. Sort of sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself? Do you think so? Yeah. I mean, what's a good-looking woman like you doing out alone on a night like this? Trying to stay away from lies like that! But listen, just, I was... Well, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, I was just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself? I guess it is. In a way. I mean, what's a good-looking woman like you doing out alone on a Friday night? No offense, but... Um, no. Well, I'm alone for the first time in a very long time, actually. Oh. You see, I just entered a relationship. Oh. Of a rather long standing. I'm sorry. Well, since reading here by yourself on a Friday night is such a sad occupation, would you want to go somewhere else? No. Do something else? No, thanks. I was headed to the movies in a little bit. I don't think so. It's a great chance to, to get a break from Faulkner. All those long sentences get him pretty tired. <laughs> thanks anyway. Okay. I appreciate the invitation. Sure thing. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? No, I was just reading. Sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading here all by yourself? Well, I thought of it as existentially romantic. You know, a cappuccino, a great literature, and a rainy night. Ah, but that only works in Paris. You could catch a late plane to Paris, get on a Concorde, find a cafe. Oof, um, I'm a little short on a plane fare tonight. Darn it, so am I. Well, you see, I was headed to the movies after I finished the section. Would you like to come along? That sounds fun, but... Oh, girlfriend. Yes, well, two of them. One of them is pregnant, and then Stephanie... <laughs> uh-huh. Girlfriend. No, I don't have a girlfriend. Not if you mean the total loser I dumped last night. Oh. Girlfriend. I just ended a relationship, actually. Oh. Rather long-standing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I'm out for the first time in a while, actually. I feel a little bit at sea to tell you the truth. Oh, so you didn't stop by to talk because you're a Mooney? Or you had some weird political affiliations? Nope. Straight down the ticket Republican. What? Straight down the ticket Democrat. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something about politics? I like to consider myself a citizen of the universe. I'm unaffiliated. That's a relief. So am I. I vote my beliefs. Labels are not important. Labels not important. Exactly. Take me, for example. So what does it matter if I have a two-point grade average at, three-point grade average at, four-point grade average at college? Or if I did come from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Westchester County? Sure. I believe a man is what he is. A person is what he is. A person is what they are. I think so too. So what if I admire Trotsky? So what if I once had a total body liposuction? So what if I have 13 toes? So what if I once volunteered for the Peace Corps for a year? I was acting on my conviction. Yeah. You can't just hang a sign on somebody. Absolutely! I bet you're a Scorpio! You know, I was headed to the movies after I finished the section. Would you like to come along? Oh, that sounds fun. What's playing? Oh, a couple of really early Woody Allen movies. Oh. Do you not like Woody Allen? No, I, I like Woody Allen, yeah. Oh, but you're not crazy about him. Some of those early ones kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. So you know, you know I was thinking, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Oh, well, I was headed to the movies in a little bit. Oh, so, so was I. The Woody Allen Festival? Just up the street. Do you like the early ones? I think anyone who doesn't ought to run off the planet. How many times have you seen Bananas? Eight times. Twelve. <laughs> Are you still interested? Mm. Hmm. Do you like Entman's Crumb Cake? Last night at two in the morning, I went out and bought one. Did you have an, did you have a, a sketch as a child? Yes! Do you like Brussels sprouts? No, they're disgusting. They are disgusting! Do you still believe in marriage despite current sentiments against it? Yes. And marriage too? And children too? Well, yeah. Two girls. Well, three of them. Two girls and a boy? 
Harvard professor in Brown. And will they love me? Yes. And cherish me forever? Yes. And you still want to go to the movies? Sure thing. Waiter! Waiter.